Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. You guessed it. I'm uh, back at campus today. Got to start my NMC summer school today. That's material sciences because I failed the SUP at the end of, uh, end of beginning, end of first semester last year. So it's going to be a long week. Well, it's Thursday, today. Thursday, Friday, and then till Friday next week of relearning all the subject matter and then taking a test again. Pass it, and then I'm done with this module. Uh, it's raining today. It's beautiful outside, but this is the new view, by the way. Check it out. Really cool. It's lovely and rainy today, but there is load shedding, so there's no power here. So I'm leaving a bit earlier to charge my phone on campus. I don't want to go. I really don't. My family's still on holiday at the beach, but what can you do, eh? Gotta finish this degree. And finished. It's quarter past four now, it's much later. We ran overtime today, but yeah, going all right, relearning all the stuff I've forgotten about. ASTM grain size, linear intercept method, a uh, number of vacancies in the substance, all good stuff. Um, not overly difficult, and I do remember a lot of it, but just sucks to be doing this now instead of like still being on holiday, but oh well. Just at the shops, getting all the essentials. Milk, fruit, veggies, chicken, cheese, bacon, nuts, rice, bread, mayo, soap, <laughs> cloths, and uh, go. Just got an announcement about NMC. No, thank you. But um, yeah, getting everything that I need for the week, and that's uh, going to be expensive. Can't wait one day to not have to worry about exceeding my card every time I buy one basket of groceries. And I'm on a run now. Despite the clouds today, it's very humid and hot, so decided to come out late. It's weird looking back at village where I stayed for two years and I'm no longer staying. This is interesting, but I'm trying to enjoy the run. So now we once again return to the student uh, diet as well. Tonight I'm having pasta, bacon, and butternut. Um, I haven't been eating a lot of veggies recently and I'm moving in with a vegan. Shout out to you, Darren. And so I'm hoping to eat more veggies this semester. It's not a New Year's resolution per se, but like, I'm hoping to eat more veggies. Hey, hey, it's Saturday night. Just sitting here in my room, doing some graft. Um, it's been all right. They gave us a, a big uh, bunch of exercises to do yesterday and I finished them all. Oh, just, you know, yield strength, strain calculations, tensile strength, true stress, safety factor questions. I'm using my notes that I made for the NMC SUP at the beginning, the end of the beginning of last year. And I'm really glad that I made such good notes because they're helping me to remember the stuff a lot. And I feel a lot more confident for this than I did, um, obviously, when I wrote the exam and the stuff all these months ago. But still, I'm quite stressed for Monday. I'm writing a test on Monday, a test on Wednesday, and an exam on Friday. And then that's that. That's our mark. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully it all goes well. Just uh, reading through my summary. It's all good. Metals, microscopic structures, crystal structures, atomic packing factor, grain boundaries, vacancies, all the formulas for those things, stresses, strains, modulus of resilience, some temperature stuff that I'd never learned before. So, yeah. Hopefully it all goes well, and uh, I'm doing my very best. So we just wrote our first semester test for... It's an MC summer school now, and it went really well. Do you think it went well? It went pretty well. That's good. Okay, yeah. Did it go well? Decently. Pretty. Decently. Yeah. Um. We were doing heat treatments of steels today and phase diagrams, so interesting and complicated. Um, diagrams that make so much more sense with a good lecturer. It's actually incredible the difference that a good teacher can make in your understanding. And I know at Varsity you're responsible for your ultimate learning and that, but oh, just the time and struggle and confusion I've avoided. Just today, having a decent lecturer explaining the difference between hyper and hyper eutectoid steels properly, and pro eutectoid and pro eutectoid alpha, and how to calculate it, and just oh. Also, I'll do a full apartment tour. Soon. I'm just waiting for Darren to move in as well because at the moment our apartment's just got a big empty room, which is obviously to be Darren's room. And uh, 
Don't want to just show you an empty room, I want to show you the whole setup when uh, she arrives. There's a whole lot of lightning outside so I couldn't go to gym so uh, just hitting up some push-ups on the floor like a uh, Tux Village style all over again. So, hear me out, right? I uh, moved into this apartment like a week ago, and the internet is alright. Like, we're paying for 20 megs down and 20 megs up every month, and uh, only getting about 7 here because it's a Wi Fi connection. And in my room, it's a bit further from the router that's out in the corridor, and, that, and that's apparently shared amongst all the different units and that. So, you can be sure that when more people move into the apartment, um, into the apartment block, there's going to be. Uh, shitty internet, but this is Darren's room. She hasn't moved in yet. That's why it's still empty And uh, I've been in contact with the Techfish guys who provide on the internet and there is a port here an Ethernet port And so you know I'm gonna be buying a 10 meter Ethernet cable and figuring it out Figuring out how to get it from Darren's room into my room so that I can upload my YouTube videos <laughs> In something faster than three four hours for like the two and a half gig file that my videos usually are But yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop procrastinating and carry on working, but yeah, that was just what I've been thinking about for the last 10 minutes and problem solving. On the way to campus now to write my second semester test for NMC for this week. I'm quite ready, <sighs> quite stressed as well. What's up? Um, I didn't do as well as I thought I did in the first test, I only got 55%, which is really frustrating because I put in so many hours of work and I really do understand the content better, I really do, I understand it so much more, but Really difficult multiple choice questions, easily confusable, and the test was out of so little, it was only out of 40, so two marks is a whole 5%. So, indicate. Uh, you know, despite people working at university being very smart people, they don't know how to indicate. But sure, main campus is so quiet at the moment. Look, mine is the only bike here in this engineering parking. Um, and it's afternoon now, just uh, sitting here watching the traffic go past. I got my mark for second semester test which I wrote this morning, like 73 which is really great. So my total mark is like 64 for the semester. So I only actually need that sub minimum 40 for the exam, which is really exciting. Obviously I hope to get more, I hope to get a better mark, but yeah. some of the stress has been disappeared in the last half an hour. Matt Devella is one of my favorite YouTubers, so watching a bit of his stuff while I eat dinner. I'm on the way to campus, it is Friday morning, writing my NMC exam today, and then finished with this summer school. I feel pretty confident, and still pretty nervous, but there's not as much multiple choice in today's paper, so more calculations. I'm sitting on like a 64 semester mark, so to pass I only need a 40% today, that's 24 out of 60 marks. I'm feeling pretty confident and obviously I hope to do better. How was the test, friends? Okay. Yay, we finished! There's some things that I'm worried about. Yeah. Same. Mitch from the future here. I ended up getting a 56% total for NMC. Um, so that means I got a 48 in the exam, which is not that like Like I was really hoping for better, um, but I really don't care anymore. Passed the subject, finished. Strong, all that work paid off in the end, and that's all that counts.